Sadhguru, it seems like it is a time for prophecies. <laughs> While many are referring to the foretelling of Putluri Veer Brahmam, a saint and seer from Andhra who wrote about Corona in his Kalanyanam, others are referring to French apothecary, astrologer and seer Michel de Nostradamus. What is your comment on such predictions? Wonderful. These predictions are wonderful, but they always happen after the event has occurred. <laughs> so, all these people who are reading all these prophecies, why couldn't they prevent it if they knew beforehand? If you know beforehand and if you do not prevent a pandemic, that's called a crime of the worst kind. So, uh, it is a human fad that they want to have a scope into the future. Isn't it wonderful? You don't know what will happen next. Otherwise, could you live? <laughs> so, uh, there are a whole lot of people, astrologers are attacking me all over the place. <laughs> because I am not good for their business. <laughs> so, a human being is the peak of evolution on this planet. From the lowest level of creatures to as you come, you will see they become less and less available to the influences around them. Let us say there is an earthworm. If something changes here, he will die. He's not going to take a swim and go to Africa and live there. Or he's not even going to go ten miles away and live there. He will die because that's how much capability he has. If this terrain or if his habitat goes bad, there is nothing he can do. This is why we've been talking about rejuvenating the soil because these microbes and worms which are vital for our survival, they will not migrate somewhere else. They do not have the capability of a corona. Corona doesn't have the capability it is just that you are providing free transport. Human beings, the most mobile creatures on the planet are providing transport. Our mobility, if we do not make it little more conscious, nature will control it. See, right now it's happened, we can't move. This happened. This was in Los Angeles. A hotshot uh, corporate CEO had a pretty secretary. This is in early twentieth century. Since then much has changed. So uh, he said, I'm going for a weekend in Palm Springs, why don't you come with me? She said, I know I'm your typewriter but I am not portable. Your portability needs to become little more conscious. It is human mobility which has empowered the virus the way it has. If this had happened thousand years ago, if where there was no air travel, no much sea travel, all this, then it would have been just there, wherever it happened. Wuhan or wherever it happened, it would have been just around there, maybe adjacent villages, something, and it would have died out. But because human beings have become so mobile, today they are in China, tomorrow morning they are in Italy, next day morning they are in uh, United States or wherever, because of this seamless mobility, Suddenly, corona has taken on a huge form. By itself, it would not have, because it needs you. 
So this this uh, urge to always predict something. There was a man, he is no more. There was a man like this in Tamil Nadu. He predicted, five hundred years later, there will be a big flood in Tamil Nadu. I said, that's wonderful. People came and asked me, Sadhguru, what do you think? Five hundred years later, there's going to be a major flood. I said, that is why I am sitting at the foothills, in case the flood comes, we will go up the mountain. <laughs> you are in Chennai, you will go. I said, is that so? I said, yes. But I can also make some predictions. Seven hundred years later, this hill is going to become a volcano and blow. I said, what, really? I said, see, seven hundred years later, I will not be there, you will not be there. We can predict whatever we want. <laughs> Please tell me what is going to happen in the next five days. Hmm? Not even five months, next five days, tell me what's going to happen. This could be useful, Tch, like a meteorological report. If you tell me what's going to happen in the next five days, it would be of some use. Five hundred years later, Anything can happen. And of course, people have such a fad about these things, they will adjust the time and the prediction. Just about everything that can ever happen on this planet has already been said by Nostradamus. I'm not a French, you know, I'm not conversant with French, but I like the word Damus. in English language, I don't know what it means in French. <laughs> so, <laughs> this will go on and on, people making predictions always of the past. Well, if you look at certain projection of how populations are growing, how things are happening, what kind of ecological damage is happening, you can make some calculation and predict something that in this trajectory if you go, this is what you will hit, we can say that. But five hundred years of trajectory is a different matter because we do not know what all forces will influence things. People say, you know, after the world war is over, they say, we, we knew this is going to happen, you know, somewhere it is written. After the nuclear bombs, atomic bombs were dropped, people say, we knew about this, two ugly spots will happen in the world. What about the test explosions? You missed all of them, you don't know how many hundreds of tests have been done. Maybe human beings did not die, I'm sure a whole lot of creatures have died. So this is a wasteful thing, instead of doing what you have to do now, actively, you go on talking about how we already knew. <clears throat> there are two problems right now with coronavirus. Like somebody said, it is dense population and dense population. We are already a dense population, don't also be dense up here. Let's do what best we can do, don't predict how many people will die. It's just stupid. How many people we will not let them die, this is important. <laughs>